right. It was going to be a small list, honestly, but now that I've finished it, it looks to me like we have quite a few watches to go over in this video. Okay. Just heads up, there are a few watches that are already featured before and they are in the list because of some specific reason, like the price is really crazy low or something to that effect. And I will go over those pretty quickly and you always can watch my separate detailed review if you want to know more. The links will be in the description. So. Hello and welcome to another of those four big yearly AliExpress sales. This is so-called end of season sale or back to school, depending on which side of the earth you are residing. I must say that the general quality of the watches on AliExpress definitely has improved since I started this channel, as well as the quality of service. The delivery times are much shorter, well, at least in Europe, as far as I'm aware, and a lot of sellers now offer return policies. Okay, we're still not at the level of customer service offered by, let's say, Amazon, but the gap is slowly but surely closing. So, as you probably already know, this is when sellers offer the most aggressive discounts, 30% and higher. So, if you've been thinking about buying, well, this is probably the best time. My last recommendation video had a lot of GMT and H34 based watches so don't forget to check it out. I generally do one video like this for each of those sale events during the year and I try to keep the overlap between those videos to a minimum. However, pretty much most recommendations in those videos are still relevant today. So yes, do check them out and of course I will leave links to those recommendation videos in the description of this one. Now, some of the watches in this video are already reviewed and I will of course leave the review links in the description of this one. Some of the watches I'm either already waiting for delivery, actually one arrived just today, so I will put some unboxing shots in this video. And some watches I plan on buying myself during this AliExpress sale, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of those future reviews. And as a full disclosure, for all these watches there will be links in the description, which are affiliate links and you probably already know the drill. While not costing you anything extra, we might get commission on some qualifying purchases, which basically used to run this channel. So thank you very much in advance. Because I have somewhat more than usual watches in this recommendation list, to keep all these recommendations more or less organized, I grouped the list by the brands. So Let's see if this works, otherwise I will try a different grouping approach in my next video. And just in case, somewhere in the middle of the video you're wondering where are all these San Martin watches, well, rest assured they are in this video, kind of at the end of it, just before the Kronos watches. Okay, I think that's enough of talking, let's get to the interesting part. So the first one on the list is the Sistan Doxa Hamash. This one has been on my radar for a while and looks like I will be getting it this time. I like the design, but I'm also impressed by the sales numbers. This one seems to be one of the most sold watches on AliExpress in this price segment, if we are to believe at this particular statistics. I especially like this latest version with the broad our hands. At the point of introduction, this watch was priced around $200 and now it can be bought for around $120. Bucks. So it looks like the inflation is moving actually in reverse on AliExpress. And this is not specific to this watch only, as we will see as we go through my recommendation list. So what do we get here for our $120, apart from a good looking watch? Well, we get quite wearable dimensions of 40mm diameter and 20mm lux, 48mm lug to lug distance, unidirectional ceramic bezel and of course sapphire crystal. Full stainless steel construction with 200 meters of water resistance and solid link bracelet with side mill clasp. Good loom, including loomed date, which is pretty cool, and all this powered by trusted Japanese Seiko NH35 movement all for $120. So yes, no wonder it sells in such a huge numbers. Just before we finish with the Sistan brand, a quick mention of another Sistan Doxa Hamash that I reviewed not so long ago. I recommended this one in the past, so for the sake of saving some time I will leave a link in the description to review of this watch if you are interested. A pretty cool timepiece for a very competitive price. The next brand on the list is Steel Dive. Well, actually, I put Edis Dive and Steel Dive together. It does look like these two brands are very close, with Edis Dive being somewhat more budget friendly than Steel Dive. Well, not to say that Steel Dive is already not priced really low as it is. 
Okay, so before we dive into my Edis Dive and Steel Dive recommendations, no pun intended, I strongly recommend to look at this SD 1970 Captain Bullet Homage from Steel Dive. I paid 113 US dollars when I bought it and it is now almost half that price. So if you haven't already bought it, well, now is the time. Edis Dive Sumo Homage. Okay, I normally don't recommend Sumo Homages, partly because the actual Seika Sumo can be bought on a secondary market for under 500 bucks. However, I decided to make an exception here because of the additional things that we get here, which are not offered on the Seika Sumo. I am talking about a ceramic and loomed bezel as well as a very good looking dial. And if you factor the price of close to 100 bucks, this is a very compelling package. And I will be very much inclined to pop this one in the basket during this AliExpress sale. Now, one thing to keep in mind, Eddie's dive uses protruding endlings, which further increase the lock to lock distance. So if you have a wrist slimmer than 6.5 inches, that could be a tad on the large side. Ok, moving on to the tuna now, yes, for about 55 bucks this one can be yours. Very aggressively discounted. Now, it is the tuna, so even though it has 47.5 case diameter, it is still has 44 lock to lock distance and will fit most wrist sizes. So, what are the key features here? Well, stainless steel construction, ceramic loomed bezel, sapphire crystal and Seiko instruments and H35 movement. Ok, now this is another tuner, this time from Steel Dive. Very similar set of specifications and still aggressively discounted. However, this one is about $30 more expensive. So, what do we get here for those extra 30 bucks? So, we have more variety of bracelets and more variety of dial color combinations, including the nice sunburst effect ones. Then we have a milled clasp mechanism on the bracelet. The Edis Dive clasp is actually fully pressed. And we also get a color matching date wheel on the black dial. On Eddie's dive, the date window background is actually white. Now, this one is on my list to get during this sale. At this price, it is an easy decision. Ok, now we're getting to the watch that I reviewed a few weeks ago. Basically, Steel Dive looked at Seiko 5KX GMT and fixed all the areas that Seiko decided to ignore. That is, changed the glass to sapphire crystal, made the crown screw down rather than a push-pull one and declared 200 meters of water resistance. They also gave us a very decent 120 click ceramic insert bezel, which is also loomed. If you remember, Seiko 5 GMT has a friction based bezel action, which is not everyone's favorite. Ok, of course, there are still some points that Seiko 5 will have an upper hand on and you can watch my full review and comparison videos of these two cool watches and the links will be in the description of this video. However, at the discounted price, this steel dive becomes even more attractive. And before we move to another brand, a quick note here, the orange bezel colorway is a bit more expensive because of the higher production cost. Bordery. Another watch I bought and reviewed recently was this Bordery Titanium Field Watch. Even without the discount, this is a very cool watch for the price. Very light, very robust and has a lot of wrist presence. And with a bit of a stretch, can work even on the wrists as slim as 6 and a quarter inch. Ok, with a bit of a stretch. Check my full review video of this watch if you want to see some examples. Ok, so what do we get here? We get full solid titanium construction, sapphire crystal and Bordery now offers this watch on a titanium bracelet too. Pretty cool. Really solid build quality and attention to detail, like branded strap hardware and a signed screw down crown and 100 meters of water resistance. Bordery went here with Miyota 8 series automatic mechanical movement. It is a robust and very widely used Japanese movement, so in terms of reliability the risk is pretty low. However, a few viewers commented on my video and I tend to agree that Seiko VK series movement, the Mecha Quartz one, would be ideal for this watch or any other quartz movement with a date for that matter. Well, irrespective, very compelling titanium timepiece that looks like will be priced quite aggressively on this sale. 
Now this is another bordery and looks like square design is picking up momentum these days, I guess under influence of brands like Richard Mill and Hublot, to name a few. And after reviewing the bordery field watch, this is another bordery watch that attracted my attention. This time bordery offered to send this one for review and I literally just got it in the mail. This looks like a really cool fusion of sapphire and titanium, together with a really beautifully skeletonized bordery on automatic mechanical movement, or at least quite heavily modified movement by bordery. It has high beat 28,800 vibrations per hour and 72 hours of power reserve. Now, this is not a small watch, although because of the curved design it does hug the wrist quite nicely. However, if you have a wrist under 6 and 3 quarters of an inch, I would probably caution you. I will try to get 6 and a quarter inch wrist wrist shots in my upcoming review of this watch, so stay tuned. Ok, I know, we are like halfway through the video and no Rolex homages yet, well, worry not, here we come. And here we have a Yachtmaster homage from Cadison. I reviewed a number of watches from Cadison in the past, including a date date Rolex homage, which was really well done. So I think this should have a similar build quality and attention to detail. In terms of highlights, we get stainless steel construction, sapphire crystal and H35 movement. I also like the branding on the Rehot. I think Cadison is the only brand on AliExpress that does it. If you know of any other brand on AliExpress that has branding on the Rehot, please share with us in the comments. And yes, all this for about 65 bucks. Looks like Cadison didn't get the memo that most of the world economies are in the midst of inflation. And here is another homage from Cadison, and this time it looks very much like a Tech Heuer Aqua Racer homage. Again, here we get a high quality materials like a sapphire crystal with anti reflective coating, stainless steel case and bracelet, and an H35 movement. All this in a 40mm case with 20mm lugs with inverted end links for a comfortable fit on most wrist sizes. And this watch is discounted to about 80 bucks. Actually, a few weeks ago Cadison reached out and offered to send this one for review. However, it is still not here and at this price I might just buy it myself. Well, one way or another I really would like to review this watch on this channel. Ok, here is another highlight of this year. I'm pretty sure I did recommend this watch in one of the past recommendation videos and that was before I reviewed it. Now I reviewed it and yes, it is a really good, dependable watch for the price. Check my detailed full review, the link of course will be in the description. So what are the key highlights here? Stainless steel construction plus sapphire crystal. And sapphire crystal is very clear and has a good anti-reflective coating. We also have screw down crown and screw down chronograph pushes. So a really good and robust watch for field conditions. And it is powered by Seiko Mega Quartz Movement Caliber VK67, which is part quartz but mechanical, a really cool piece of engineering from Seiko. After reviewing the Baltany chronograph, Baltany kindly agreed to send this field watch for review as well. I think it looks really good on the product pictures. I like the blue dial one, trying to get more colors in my life, so I will post a review as soon as I get it. And in the meantime, Baltany is discounting it for the sale, so I thought after a good experience with their field chronograph, I will bring this watch to your attention as well. Ok, moving on, this is another watch that has been on my radar for a very long time now. Actually, since I reviewed my first Labini on the channel, a very impressive timepiece. Check the review of course in the description. So about the same time Labini released two models based on this wonderful mini rotor movement. This particular one is my favorite between the two because I think the dial is a bit more elegant and sophisticated, kind of matching the view of the see-through back case. I will try to get this watch for review as well, I will reach out to Labini and see what they say, so watch the space. Now moving to Carjou brand, this is to the best of my knowledge is the cheapest NH34 based GMT watch on AliExpress and 
Now Kerju is making it even cheaper, under 80 bucks. I did buy this watch and I reviewed it a couple of weeks ago, a crack of a watch from Kerju, especially taking into account the price. This is of course a homage to a Rolex Explorer 2 and Kerju didn't skim on the quality materials here. We have full stainless steel construction, sapphire crystal and Seiko NH34 GMT movement. Good solid link bracelet and surprisingly good clasp with on the fly adjustment. Check out my full review of this watch, link of course will be in the description. Now, while looking at Kerju range, looks like Kerju is doing its best to stay relevant within a fierce competition between watch brands on AliExpress. Not only they did a subtle logo upgrade, which is good, but also they are refreshing their range. And this is an interesting vintage Amiga homage, which is a homage to a contemporary Amiga, which is a homage to a vintage Amiga Seamaster, right, I, I hope you get the point. Nevertheless, if you like this clean no-date style, Kerju got you covered. And yes, it is also discounted at about mid-50 bucks, as it stands out now. A really good price if you want to try out this style of watch. Kerju deployed all its key ingredients here as usual, full stainless steel construction with a solid inverted end links bracelet, Sapphire Crystal and Seiko NH35 movement, which will most likely have a ghost crown position on this no-date watch. And to finish off with the Kerju brand on a bit of a fun note, I thought I'll highlight this set of homages. Actually, I'm sure that we can find at least similar quality Submariner homages on AliExpress for the same price. So this is not what attracted me to this Kerju listing. It is the selection of colorways, especially the purple one. This is a colorway that we don't really see every day, especially on this type of watch. So if this is something interesting to you, well, Take advantage of it during the sale. Okay, before we move on to San Martin, it is challenging to have an AliExpress sale recommendation list without mentioning Pagani design at least once. So here we go. And we will not spend a lot of time on this particular watch, because I reviewed and recommended this brilliant watch more than once in the past. However, this is the first time I see it so aggressively priced. I think this is the first time I see it priced around 40 bucks. So, just in case you haven't seen my review, I will of course leave the link in the description. And yes, I doubt it will get any cheaper, so buy it if you are after this type of watch. And the second Pagani design watch on this list is the Tudor Panda Chronograph Homage, which I bought and reviewed recently. A very good put together timepiece. It is not discounted as aggressively as the last time, but still the price is pretty sharp. The link in the description is where I bought it from, however, as always, do shop around to see if you can get a better price. So the key highlights here as usual, a full 316L stainless steel construction, sapphire crystal and Seiko Mecha Quartz VK64 movement. And of course, the link to my full review of this brilliant watch is in the description of this video as well. Okay, finally we've got to San Martin, and this first watch is kind of a bit of a from a left field, so to speak. The reason I picked it for the recommendation list is that it is one of the very few San Martin watches with mechanical movement that is still priced close to $100. Actually, it looks like San Martin allows the price to dip well under 100 bucks here during this sale. A very solid value proposition for what we get here. I especially like this B-type dial on a stainless steel bracelet, however, San Martin leather straps and buckles are also of a very good quality. Also, this watch comes with either Seiko NH35 or Orient YN55 movements. Both movements have good reputation, but do check with the seller prior to purchase which one you're gonna get, because it doesn't look like there is a choice option on the actual product listing. I did review San Martin field watch with Orient YN55 movement in the past, and it seems like a really good solid caliber. Now, this is a recent original design GMT watch from San Martin that I reviewed only a few weeks ago, and I must say they did very well. It is actually a very well designed and built timepiece. The quality of the finishing is on a high level, the dial is clean and legible, and I love the bezel action. Bidirectional, 24 clicks as we would expect from a proper GMT bezel. 
San Martin also included their on the fly adjustment clasp, which is probably the best clasp on AliExpress at this price point. I thoroughly enjoyed reviewing this watch. Check the link in the description and keep an eye on the sale discounts because I think it is an outstanding timepiece for the price. Now, this is another original design GMT watch from San Martin based on Seiko NH34 caliber. Looks like San Martin introduced this very recently, especially ahead of this AliExpress sale. I think I would call it a 50 shades of grey. And for the record, I think I'm the only one, or I'm the, at least the first one who actually named it like this. Yeah, I'd like to stay on the record. Ok, maybe this watch doesn't have all the 50 shades of grey here, but I think it has quite a few. I think this kind of monochrome color scheme does look very elegant. We can definitely see a few different styles that influence the design. However, it does seem to hold its own and it does not look like a homage to anything in particular. Again, let's see how aggressively San Martin will discount this timepiece. In the meantime, I will try to get it in for review as well. And before we get to the next brand, a brief honorable mention of this version 3 Ghost Diver. This is the third year that I'm wearing this watch almost on a daily basis and it is absolutely brilliant. Solid construction, one of the best looms, possibly the best bezel action that I ever tested on this channel. I can go on with the praises for a while and I did release a two-year-old video review of this watch. So if you want to see and see all the details, of course, I will leave uh, the link in the description. San Martin did do some upgrades to this watch, like class, for example. However, the rest of the watch is pretty much the same. Well, almost the same. San Martin did change one more thing – the price. This watch price now even cheaper than it was when I bought it about two and a half years ago. Ok, so last but definitely not least brand on our list is Kronos. I haven't featured Kronos on this channel yet, but looks like I might be changing this in the near future. Also, I heard that Kronos and San Martin are very close. Not sure if it's true or is through sharing the production or through the joint ownership, but if they are, it looks to me, and this is pure speculation on my part, it looks to me that while San Martin is slowly but surely moving into developing and implementing its own original design timepieces, Kronos, in the meantime, is more focused on homages. Like I said, this is pure speculation on my part, but if you know any inside details, do share with us in the comments. So, the first Kronos that grabbed my attention is this very popular homage. The watch is, of course, needs no introduction, however, it is very aggressively discount. It is really a lot of watch for the money, so possibly this could be my first Kronos. Now, this watch is one of their recent releases. Yes, Kronos haven't spoiled us with a lot of releases lately, so this is a refreshing change. This is, of course, a homage to a new Tudor Diver. Looks really good. I must say, though, that for some reason Kronos decided to go with the Snowflake second hand here, which is okay. However, just uh, if you remember, the Black Bay 54 watch actually has a lollipop second hand. And while we are on the subject of Tudor Diver homages, I really like this one too. And I especially like the discounted price. So, do check it out. And last but definitely not least is this GMT homage from Kronos. I know this one has been around for a while and actually has a very good reputation. So, yes, this is great. However, what we have here is another iteration of this watch and this time with Sega and H34 movement, which allowed Kronos to push the price further down. And now this stunning watch can be bought for around 200 bucks. A deal that not to be missed if you are after this style of watch. So here you have it. Thank you for sticking around till the end. It is a bit of a long one this time, however, we are working hard to bring you the sharpest deals we can find. And we would appreciate if you could hit that like button and of course subscribe if you haven't already done so. It does help the channel a lot. And as always, thank you for watching, take care and I will see you in the next one.